Right. The following video is going to show you how to resize and transform an image and the canvas. Uh, one thing you do, you can see that I have an image up on the screen. Um, let's click edit and there is free transform and transform. First let me show you tra free transform. Free transform simply allows me to um, just move the image around and I can kind of move it around and see how I like it. If I want it crunched up or far away or bigger, I could make it huge. Um, now one thing to remember is that you can always make an image smaller, but you can never make it bigger. Look how as I make this image bigger, I and mean, we can only see, look at the grainy effect here that you're starting to see on the screen. Look at those squares. So you can always make an image smaller. You can never make it bigger. Um, this is for all raster graphics, all Photoshop graphics. You can always make them smaller, not bigger. All right, so that's free transform. Then there's also a few others you guys can play around with, such as scale, rotate, rotate, just rotates it, skew, distort, like things like skew allow you to kind of play with the image like this and do some stretching effects um, with things. All right, that's how you skew, and you can also distort it, um, which is very similar. It does the same simple, s similar effect. You can see that you can play around with it. It's cool. You can play around with many different things like this and give them some different effects. All right. Um, also, now let's say I want to change the image size manually. I mean, via number. I can click image size, image, image size, and this is where I can change the pixels. Um, I can pick a number here, like if I pick 800, notice how the height automatically is changed. And I can do this in uh, pixels or percent. You should always just do it in pixels. Notice how if I pick 87 pixels, this is 40. 870, this is 396. Notice how it also gives me an in inches as well. And our resolution should be the same as what it was when we started, which was 72. Now, the reason that uh, height and width are changing at the same time is because I am have this button check called constrain proportions. Um, if I uncheck this, then I can keep the height and change the width. If I click constrain proportions, they're all going to be the same. Now, notice at the top of the screen here, as I'm changing the image size, it's showing me what my new image file size is. So keep that in mind as you're doing this. So the important thing here really is the constrained proportions. If I just want to change the width, I can't have constrained proportions checked. All right, next thing. I'm looking at a canvas right now, my image, but I want to add some white space around the whole entire image, or maybe just the top, or maybe just one of the sides. I need to make this image just a little bigger. I go to image, and this is where I edit the canvas size. Now, if I simply add some to the width, like another inch, let me do that. I'll make that nine. Click OK. Right now, I'm selected right in the middle. All right, my width has been increased another inch. If I go to image, canvas size, and I do the height, same thing, height. Now, what's interesting is let's say I just, just want to add some to the bottom. That's the top. I'm simply going to click this up arrow, and you can see that it's only going to add now to the bottom. Right now, it's going to add everywhere. Now, it's just going to add to the bottom. So if I click the height and make the height another inch and click OK, just the bottom has been added one inch. That's how you edit the image size. This is how you transform sizes and edit image sizes. The main thing to keep in mind here, people, is you can't make an image bigger. I mean, I can't make this wave bigger. I can make my canvas bigger. You can only make an image smaller in Photoshop. If you want to make an image bigger, you need to use a vector-based graphics system such as Illustrator.